One of the stories we like to tell on Live It Up are stories about people living out their dreams. And we have one such person with us today. Her name is Susan Eady, and she's a children's book illustrator and writer. Welcome to the show. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me on. Good. You came all the way in from Nashville, I so thank did. you. I did. I did. I was thrilled to be invited. Now, you started out as an art director in the music industry. Talk about that with us. I did. I was an art director for uh, seven years with RCA Records, and uh, I, I loved it. It was a lot of fun but it was a lot of producing. There was not as much hands-on illustrating and artwork as I really love to do. But it, but it was a great, it was a great job. And you were also nominated for Grammy? I was, I did. Uh, I was nominated for package design for Lowe's uh, Super 7. I did not win. I lost to Madonna that year. <laughs> but Drat. Yeah, but I did get to go to the Grammys, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. Now, how did you learn the craft of art? How did that begin for you? You know, I was always an artist from the time I was in kindergarten. I brought home a rooster that I had drawn in kindergarten for my mother, and she framed it, and I was so thrilled that I thought, I might want to be an artist when I grow up. So it was that early encouragement. It, it Somebody was. gave you the hope of possibility. It's really true. Yeah, my, my mother was great at encouraging. And I also had an uncle who was, an, he was a, a professor and he taught ceramics. So he did, um, he made things out of clay. And that fascinated me. I thought, oh gosh, if an adult could make their living out of playing in the mud, <laughs> I might want to do something like that. <laughs> and you so know. you have. And so I have. So tell yes. us about the books that you've illustrated using okay. that technique. Okay, well I have a couple here. Um, I, my first book was Papa Fish's Lullaby okay. uh, by Patricia Hubble. And uh, this uh, is all set under sea. So I got to do, I got to do all the research. I had to make sure that all of the, the sea critters lived in the same ocean. And I love this, the research part because it's just so much fun to learn about new things. And I kind of understand that because at the studio I used to work, we had a saltwater tank. So you can't put a freshwater fish in a saltwater tank. Exactly. Certain exactly. fish swim with certain fish. Absolutely. So, and hence you had to research that's that. That's right. I had to make sure that everybody lived in the same ocean, and I spent a lot of time just, you know, crafting my illustrations. There. Now, uh, how long does it take you to, from concept to completion of illustrating a book that way? Yeah, it takes about nine months because I have to do a completely detailed sketches because I don't know where I'm going if I don't. So I do a very detailed sketch I send that to my client to the publisher and we go back and forth if there are any questions or anything that they want to change we change them the sketch stage because it's so much easier than changing it in the clay stage okay um, so that that's where it starts out and what kind of clay are you working with are, do you, are you baking these things this no, clay or no that's a that's a good question this is all plasticine so it's the modeling clay like you um, like you used in kindergarten okay I really have not progressed beyond my kindergarten skills <laughs> <laughs> you cut a piece now do you blend your own colors also I do. Okay. I do yes I get in they, they make about 10 colors of plasticine and I get in there I put it on on a heating pad so it's it's warm enough to work with and I mush and my hand are multicolored within five minutes of getting into my studio. Fantastic. Yeah. I bet they're strong. Can I feel your hands yeah. for a second? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thought, yeah. Yeah. I, I have a little strength there. That's yeah. great. Well, I guess you need it because, I mean, like you're probably kneading the dough and it's you're true. moving it it's and manipulating true. it. Yeah, I am. So this am. book is called My Love for You is the Sun. Yes. This one was, this is for little, uh, well, this is actually a book for mothers um, with new babies. It's really a, just a, a beautiful poem written by uh, Julie Hedlund. And again, this is set in the natural world. I do love to, uh, again, I love the research and I love doing animals. So this one was also just a real delight to do. Absolutely beautiful. I got to see some of this on, on camera and it's interesting that I, I chose this because I thought this was beautiful too of the little raccoons. Oh yeah. So yeah. So each character, I mean do you keep them after I afterwards? Do. do you have like a whole entire collection of yes. things you've made? Oh it's crazy. My studio is just overflowing. I have I started out uh, keeping them in pizza boxes. Okay. Which uh, kids love whenever I go uh, do school visits. The kids are all like oh do you eat all that pizza? <laughs> <laughs> because pizza boxes are about perfect. They're about this wide, and um, you know they, they're these uh, uh, these pieces are about this tall. But these, about how tall? They're is this about tall? Like three to four inches. Yeah, about three to four inches. Okay. But um, these 
are more actual size, so they were bigger than pizza boxes. So I had those special order boxes, and my studio is filled with box after box oh, of critters. critters. Yes. Clay, clay yes. critters. Clay critters. Clay yes. critters. And let's yeah. talk about your book, which you did not illustrate. Exactly. <laughs> uh, this is my new book, A okay. Copy's Best Paper. And I wrote this book, and I tried to illustrate it. I tried over and over and over. I. The way it works in, in the publishing industry is that you submit to editors, submit to agents to try to get your book uh, picked up. And I had done a dummy book and I had done sample illustrations out of clay for this book. And it kept getting rejected over and over and over. And everybody said, you know, I like the story, but the clay is just not a good fit for this book. Hmm. So I finally, I am a very hard-headed person, finally I... Um, got the message. I sent it to my agent and she said, you know what, I really love the story, but I don't want to offend you, but would you let us t um, have another illustrator take a crack at this? And who did they select? Rosalind Bonet. She is a French illustrator. She lives in Versailles. She sent me her website. I looked at the website and I was just, just fell in love. Her work is Oh, I love it. I love it. She has done such a fabulous job with this book. So whenever I saw what she could do, I was like, yes, please take it, take it. And they did. And whenever they paired her illustrations with this story, it just came alive and Charles Bridge uh, picked it up. And what is the story about? What is Poppy's about? Well, Poppy wants to be a writer when she okay. grows up. And she, when her teacher um, assigns a paper uh, for the class, Poppy is sure that her paper is going to be the best paper. But Poppy, unfortunately, is, uh, she has big dreams and big ambitions, but she's not so good on the work side. She gets very distracted very easily. And when her best friend Lavender writes the best paper instead, Poppy becomes very jealous and Poppy acts out a little bit. So that is, this is the story of how Poppy worked through some of the writer angst and some of the jealousy and how she ended up writing her very best paper. And it's perfect for any age because I know some adults oh. that would like that oh, book. It so mirrors my writing process. It is not even funny. <laughs> it's so hard to keep, your, keep yourself in the chair and keep writing. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations yeah. to you. you. Susan, what else, what else is in store for you? What else are you working on now? Um, oh, right now, I have been doing a lot of work um, with the SCBWI, which is a, a um, trade organization that I'm that I am a member of a society of children's book uh, writers and illustrators at the moment we are planning our uh, SCBWI booth in Bologna Italy uh, in the spring so I'm doing a lot of work with them designing um, uh, flyers uh, getting the illustration gallery set up so that right now is uh, consuming my time. Well, I love your sense of community. I love that you collaborate with other artists. Yeah. You know, because sometimes artists tend to just stay to themselves, and that's fine. But there's other artists that love to collaborate, so congratulations for your success with it's that. It's true. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it was really nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet and you. And I want to come down to Nashville. I haven't oh, been to Nashville in a while. So. Oh, Nashville's great. You would love I it. I think I'm ready. Oh, yeah. I'd show <laughs> you around. It's, it's great. We've been visiting with Susan Eady. She's a wonderful illustrator as well as a writer. Thanks for watching Live It Up. And if you have a favorite author that you would like us to feature, write to us. Thanks for watching.